Hello everyone and welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be talking about one way to make your generator quieter, but if you do it like this, if you do it this way, the way that some people on YouTube, some very popular videos on YouTube are suggesting, you'll probably end up with a generator that will either not function right, will either catch on fire, or, well, just watch the video. So if you are looking for ways to make your generator quieter, there's a video right here that are, I believe, nine ways on how to make your generator quieter. Now, I do talk about what I'm going to talk about in this video in that video, but it's a little bit different than the way that I'll be doing it in this video. So just keep that in mind. So usually people that wants to make a generator quieter are people that has a non-inverter generator, just your typical uh, gasoline or propane generator that is a non-inverter, which means it's going to be a lot louder. So that makes if you have a 10,000 watt generator, 8,000 watt generator and up, it's most likely just your typical generator. And a lot of them goes from 80, 90, even to 100 decibels. If you have a older model that just makes a lot of noise because everything is just old. So in the manufacturer's booklet, it will usually say to keep the generator at least six feet away from any object. So that would typically mean if you have it beside your house, have it six feet away from your house. So some people on YouTube think that it's a good idea just to, uh, well, how's about we watch? So right here, I'm um, basically just, uh, doing what some people suggest just uh putting some wood or whatever you have around your house whatever i mean some people say plywood some people say drywall so it's basically for people that wants to make the generator quieter yes it will work it will lower the decibel count of the generator if you look at my sound meter right now i i mean the so the generator was around 90 decibels when i'm standing close to it. So if I come back with my sound meter after I've built this little apparatus, yes, my generator will be much quieter by a fair amount of decibels, as you can see. And another thing about a generator box is that it not only lowers the decibels, but it also changes the noise. It changes it from being a higher pitch noise to being a more droning noise so even though you might not see that big a difference in your decibel count well the the way the sound sounds like you will notice a big difference so as you can see this generator just shut off by itself now this is a great thing because a lot of the newer generators on the market right now has an automatic shut off if there is a buildup of co2 gas so of course, if you put this in a box that is non-ventilated, then the generator will do what it's supposed to do. It will merely shut off before it even begins to overheat. So think about it this way. At least the, the carbon monoxide detector is doing what it's supposed to do. And at least the generator will shut off before catching on fire because of overheating. Now, some generators, when they get too hot, they automatically shut off. But a lot of people wanting to make their generator quieter are people that can't really afford a generator box that costs like $1,000 and they just can't afford a quieter generator. And most of the newer ones are a lot quieter. And the problem with the older ones is that everything moves, everything vibrates, and there's just going to be a high frequency, high pitched noise that is very ear piercing for a lot of people. And that's the reason why a lot of people build these types of apparatus. If you have a big enough piece of wood, you can build an A-frame. Now, I wouldn't recommend it with the larger generators, but with just a small inverter generator, I wouldn't worry too much about it because it, it's an A-frame. At least if you have both sides open and the wind funnels right through, then there shouldn't be a problem. But it really shouldn't even have to come to that because a small generator like this one that you're seeing on your screen, you can build something like a little A-frame, but I would suggest building it 
in a way that your the wood is long enough that you can have adequate space between the plank and the generator and at least these tiny generators they don't tend to get super hot and also if you have two sides of the a-frame open just make sure the air ventilates it properly and you should be fine but really these types of small generators i wouldn't really worry about even building an a-frame like that because they're already quite quiet and if you have it at a campground or something just put it behind a tree put it behind your camper and you'll hardly hear it that's basically what we always did and they work fantastic now you can build a generator quiet box yourself but it, it does take the proper materials to do it it does take some sound deadening material on the inside the stuff that you would put underneath the hood of your vehicle where it is very highly resistant to heat and also you have to have a box that is very highly ventilated not only for the carbon monoxide but also for the overheating and building these types of box can be a bit tricky feel free to take a look at many of our other youtube videos and also some of our articles on our website soundproofguide.com don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content also feel free to leave us a comment below if you have any soundproofing questions of your own we will certainly try our very best to help you